I'm going to show you how to make the um, adult bear cowl. Um, you can make it with regular yarn, which is um, Red Heart uh, cream yarn, or you can make it with a Lion Brand Wool Ease colored yarn, and that will be the thick pattern. So there's three different patterns. You can do it the double crochet pattern with regular yarn, or you can do it with the thick yarn, or you can do it um, with a half double crochet. Now. I'm going to show you how to do it with regular yarn, the double crochet way. I have all the links down below so um, you, you can look at all three of those patterns. Also, um, this is similar to the child's pattern and I do have a child's pattern for um, the adult, for the bear cowl and that's down below too. To start off, leave about five to six, seven inches of a tail. Cast on to your hook. I'm using a K hook and this is to start. You will chain 33 so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. If you want to do it with a thick yarn, I came up with a pattern of chaining 28 and um, that link is down below. But for this one it's 33. Then you'll single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then you'll single crochet in each chain across until you reach the beginning chain. So just single crochet across.
Okay, so you're at the end. So you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two. Now, you're, instead of turning your work, you're going to work on the other side of the chain here, the foundation. So this one you worked your last single crochet, so you'll go to this next on this side. Also, you can weave in this end here, the yarn. So you're on this side, so you're at 30, so you're at 32, so right here would be 33 34 35 36 I'm just weaving in this tail here And then I'll drop this tail. 37, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. Okay, so this is what your round row one looks like. Then you'll chain one. Now if you do it the half, half double crochet way, you would start with a chain one and half double crochet in this first single crochet. But on this pattern we're going to show I'm going to show you how to do the double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, double crochet by turning your work on this side. And then double crochet in the next. double crochet in the next and just continue down to the end and around
Okay, we're almost close to the end. And you will not turn your work, you will work your work around. So you have a double crochet here, you're going to work around and then double crochet in this next one. Instead of turning your work, you're just going to work your way around. So just continue around. And this is the back of the hat and then the front right here next to your um, forehead is the front here. And if you keep working this up to um, 22 more rows, then it will turn into the cowl, the hooded cowl. And you just continue around. And we're on the second row and you'll continue on for a total of 22 more rows. I'm not going to show you all of it, but I will show you how to finish the end. And the pattern link is down below if you need the pattern. Okay, so we're reaching the end here, and row three, you would chain one and then turn your work, and then you would start a double crochet in this next, in this beginning double crochet, and then you would continue all the way down and around and then come down all the way around and you would continue around for 22 more for 20 a total of 22 rows just come around and this is the back where it's going to be pointed for your hood and this is the front where it's going to be by your forehead now I'm going to show you how to finish it when you've reached your 22 rows now this is the thick one that I've done so this is the top your hood part here and then this is where your forehead is and this is the the ear and you would work it all the way back and forth for 22 rows and then you would finish in order and the way to finish it is you would finish it on your row on the thick one you would finish it for 18 more rows on the thick one and I have that link down below but for the um, the regular yarn would be 22 rows because it's not as thick so you don't so you need more rows okay so this is the bottom where your neck is and you need to connect it Okay, so to connect it, you have these two ends, and this is where your neck, your neck will be. 
and you will go into this first double crochet here, yarn over and work a slip stitch into this side. So you'll slip stitch it together. And then you will chain one and you're going to work all the way around a double crochet. And so you'll double crochet here. And this is the thick yarn. And the thick yarn is the Lion Brand Wool Ease Quick and Easy. If you want to, if you choose to do the thick one. And you just work a double crochet around. You'll do this twice for the cowl part. If you want the cowl part longer, you can always add more rows or rounds. These are rounds because we're connecting it now. So you just work around with your double crochet. I'll show you this first round and then the other round is just the same. You just work it around again. And some of you have given advice about fast, forward, fast forwarding the parts um, of continual disc double crochets, but um, some beginners like to see the whole pattern around, so I like to just show it all the way around if you're a true beginner. Some of you may not be a beginner, but at least you get the gist of the, how the pattern works if you need help with this kind of pattern. When I'm working with a thicker yarn, I hold my crochet hook a little bit different because it's so thick it's easier to hold it with my hand over instead of holding it like this. Um, I hold it over when I'm dealing with thicker yarn because it's easier for me. Now you're working around here. And then when that gets tiresome, I go back to holding my hook a little bit different, or back to the normal way. But using the thicker yarn, you really have to use more 
I found more hand muscles because it's so thick. You have to really pull it. Okay, we're almost back to the beginning. And I'll show you how to do the, the next row. Okay, going into the next row, you'll go into this double crochet and then as you get to this end part, I'm almost out of yarn so I'm